Okay, we have a lot of information now. We, remember, let's not lose sight of what we want to find. We want to find this tree here. Okay, so we need some more information in this triangle. Okay. We have a lot of information about this little triangle here. It's not 90 degree triangle, but we have the angle too and its opposing side. That means we can use sine law to pretty much find out everything. What, do you, what side do you think would be the best side to find out in this triangle to help us? Anybody knows? Could actually use either this side or this side because then we could consider this triangle or this triangle as a right angle triangle to find the height, right? Let's, see, let's go for this side here, AC, right? So AC here, we're gonna say AC, that side length here, over sine 15, because it's the opposite side, is equal to the side we know, 31.4, over its angle, sine two. AC is equal to 31.4 times sine 15 divided by sine 2. 232.86 feet. Now that doesn't seem like it works with this. It doesn't seem like that would be that far. far. Now the reason why it does work is because this angle 2 is actually a much, it's shown much bigger than it is, actually a much smaller angle. So this would, would go a lot further. So we have AC here, this line. Now we can use Sokotoa to find the height of the tree. Okay, let's call the height of the tree C. Which ratio am I gonna use now? I have the hypotenuse and I have the opposite angle, right? So what ratio? What ratio am I going to use? Sine, cos, or ten? No, I'm trying to find the opposite. I have the hypotenuse, right? We said it was 232.86. Come on, guys. Everyone's hand should go up, right? This is not hard. We have the opposite in the hypotenuse. Can we just find AD by using the uh, Pythagorean theorem? Like the 31.4 and the 32.86? Like yeah, but that's not what we're doing, Max. Is. Oh, I thought we were trying to find that. No, we're, we're using Sokotoa oh. because it's much quicker and you're in grade 10 now. We're not in grade 9. Yeah. Sign. Yeah, we can use sine, right? So we can just say. That sine 17 degrees is equal to opposite C over the hypotenuse, 232.86. So C is going to be equal to sine 17 times 232.86. 68.1. Okay, calculate the height of the tree. The height of the tree is 68.1 meters. Very, very tall tree. Not a very difficult question, guys. If you're having trouble with this, then you just need to practice more. You have to be doing the homework for this stuff. When, you're, when the drawing is given, it's, it should be relatively easy for you. All right, here we go. First word problem where we're not given a drawing. A radio tower is supported by two wires, A and B on opposite sides. One wire is 12.3 and the other is 16.7. The longer wire makes a 45 degree with it, the ground. Okay, So a radio tower, we're going to draw like this. Here's our tower. We'll call the top of it T. Okay, it's supported by two wires on opposite side. One wire is 12.3, so it doesn't matter what side you choose for these wires. Let's say the left side 
uh, is 12.3. Now this side is going to be 16, so I have to draw it longer. 16.7. And then it tells us the, the longer wire makes a 45 degree with the ground. So that's 45. Okay. Hopefully you can create that drawing. Not relatively easy, right? This is a right angle here. It's a right angle here as well. Okay. Now it says, uh, how far apart are the two wires along the ground? So once this distance here the nearest tenth of a meter. So if we want those two distances, we basically need to get these two side lengths. All right, well, if we have an angle and we have a side and it's a right angle triangle, we can get the, the other side length here, or we can get this side length here if we want it, what ratio would we use to get this side length here? Come on guys, one out of three. Sine, cos, or tan? Yeah, PG. Cos, right, because it's the adjacent side, right? So we're gonna call this little t here. We'll say t is equal to, sorry, cos 45. Is equal to adjacent t over 16.7. T is equal to cos 45 times 16.7. 11.81 meters. Okay, that's T here. Now with this, this triangle over here, what can we do to solve this one? We don't have the uh, angles. Do we have angle A maybe? Hmm. We don't have any angles. So what we can do then is we can use our ratios, but first we need another side, right, to f solve for the angle. So let's get this side here. I'm going to call this call this B, okay, we'll get B and then we'll use B, the two sides here to find the angle A. Okay, once we get the angle A, then we can solve for this side length here. That makes sense? All right, so let's get B, we'll go back to this triangle, how can we get B? Yeah, Javet. Tan, sure, we could try tan. So we're gonna say tan 45 is equal to opposite B over the one we solved for 11.81. Now I would have used, I would have used sine just because this was given and this one we calculated, but we should get very close to the same answer. So tan 45 times 11.81. the same value. Hmm. That's a coincidence, maybe, maybe not. 11.8, one. Okay, now that we have this side length, we can use another uh, ratio with Sokotoa to find this side. Or sorry, this angle. What would that ratio be? 33% shot here, Chenier, what do you think? We're looking for this angle. We have this side and this side. What ratio would you use? So, ka, or toa? So, yeah, you're going to go opposite over hypotenuse, right? So, sine A, we don't know A, we're looking for it, is equal to 11.81 over 12.3. So, angle A is equal to, remember you're going to do sine to the inverse Seventy-three point seven seven degrees. 
All right, so now we have this angle, 77.8. We have this length. We have a lot. We just need to find this guy now. Let's call him uh, X. Sure. How can we find X? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. How can we find X? Alan. It's a right angle triangle. You know a side length, a side length, an angle. How do we find X? Sine law. No, it's a right angle triangle, so it's Sokotoa. You don't need sine law. What do you think? Sorry? Cos? Okay, yeah, I like it. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Yeah, so we're going to say cos 73.8 is equal to x over 12.3. x is going to be equal to cos 73.8 times 12.3. 3.43 So we have X we have T We need to need now add these two together to get the total distance, right? So uh, total distance So a B is going to be equal to 11.81 plus 3.43 so we get Fifteen point two four meters. How far apart are the two wires along the ground? The two wires are fifteen point two four meters apart. Any questions? How tall is the radio tower to the nearest tenth of a meter? We already found that. We said B is equal to 11.81 meters. The radio tower is 11.81 meters. And do you think the way that I solved this is the only way to solve it? What do you think, Stefan? You think there might be another way? Yeah, there is. Most of these word problems, you have so many tools in your toolbox here now. You don't have to use Sokotoa, right? There was another very big triangle here. We had an angle. We had the opposing side, right? We calculated this angle. If we just have this angle on the opposing side, if we found the angle T, we could have got this length in one, in using the sine law. Right? And we could have got T because we could have done 180 minus 73 minus 45. You still would have had to find out 73 though. All right. Example four. Solve for X to the nearest tenth of a meter. Nice. We have a drawing. So we know it's not going to be too hard. Okay nearest x. Now these two lines mean that that these lengths are the same. Do you guys know what that means about this angle? You gotta know this from angle law. You have a triangle where two sides are the same. The opposing angles are they're also the same. So this is 57. You have to know that. Okay? If we know this is 57 and this is 57, what's this angle here? Yeah, we're going to do 180 minus 57 minus 57. So 66. Okay, we have a bunch of angles now. We're, we're getting there. No, this is 90. If we know this is 90 and this is 35, we can figure out this angle. 90 minus 35. So we're going to go 55 for this angle. All right, so we have a whole bunch of angles. We have one side length here, 4.7. So I think we can use this side length to work out 
this tri this triangle side, right? So the ratio I want to use is uh, let's use cos because we have 35, so we can say cos 35 is equal to 4.2 over let's call this b because it's opposite b, okay, over b. So now b is going to be equal to 4.2 divided by cos 35 equals. Five point one three, and these are meters. Okay. Now we have this side length. We know this side length because it's the same. Five point one three. That's what this dashed line means. Okay. Now we have an angle and opposing side. We can use sine law to solve for x. So let's put the side length we know on top. We'll say 5.13 over sine 57, this over this, is going to be equal to x over sine 66. x is going to be equal to 13 sine 66 over sine 57. x is equal to times sine 66. 5.59 meters. Any questions? Yep. Yeah. This? Oh yeah, you would. Okay. No questions, we'll move on. Alright, area of a triangle. So we know area of a triangle, the formula for area of a triangle is one half base times height. But now we know we know a bunch of different uh, tools, right? To figure out side length and triangles, especially if we're dealing with right angles. So if we draw a right angle in here, what we can do is we can develop a different formula for area of a triangle. So we can say that the area of a triangle is one half BC times sine A. And that comes from the exact formulas that we've been using uh, for about a week now, right? These Sokotoa formulas, all right? So if you rearrange this or look at it from a different side where we consider the height going this way, you can develop these formulas, one-half AC sine B or one-half AB sine C. Notice how you have all three letters, all three sides. Also note that A and B, little a, little b, are opposite those vertices, big B and little a. They're opposite, okay? This can equivalently be thought of as the area is equal to one-half the product of two sides times, so the product of two sides, they multiply, times the sine of the included angle. Okay, so the included angle being the angle between those two opposing sides. All right, the best way to understand this is just to use an example here. It says, find the area of the triangle. So here we go. We don't need a right angle triangle for this to work. We know our formula is area. Now I'm going to use the angle here, so we'll call this A, B, C. I'm going to use the angle B because that's the angle that's given, right? So the angle, the area is going to be one half, little a, little c, sine, big B. That's the formula I'm going to use. Why? Because of the information that was given to me. Now I just plug in these values. So I say one half, a is 9.8, c is 8.7 and then sine B is 112. And in one step there, I can get the area. So 0.5 times 9.8 times 8.7 times sine 112. 39.52, and this is going to be centimeters, sorry, 5.3 centimeters squared. In addition to finding it with side angle side, 
We can also get the area of a triangle if we know side, side, side. So if we have side, angle, side, or we have side, 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 we can find the area that way. So it says calculate uh, the S, which is half of the triangle's perimeter. So you're going to add up all three sides and divide by two. Then you'll calculate the area using this formula. So it's the square root of half the perimeter times half the perimeter minus one side, half the perimeter minus the other side, half the perimeter minus the third side. Okay, so find the area of a triangle with the side lengths six, seven, and eight. You're just gonna plug this in to both formulas, that's it. So we'll say this is A, this is B, and this is C. Our side length is going to be equal to six, sorry, half our perimeter is going to be equal to this. Six plus seven plus eight divided by two, we get 10.5. And now our area, we're gonna plug this into here, is gonna be equal to square root of 10.5 times 10.5 minus six times 10.5 minus six, no, seven. 10.5 minus 8. Okay, this would be 10.5. You can do all this on your calculator if your calculator has brackets. Let's do this times, what is it? You should practice that on your calculator. Make sure you're getting this answer. 19.8 Four three meters. Jafet, you get that too? Uh, Seems right to me. Oh, it's meters squared. Don't forget the squared because it's area. Get it? Yeah, it was like around like twenty point three. Twenty point three. I didn't put all the decimals after I was trying to do. Okay. I'm going to trust Adrian. That's it, right? You guys have a fourth page? No, right? Okay, that's it for 8.3.